morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticon, and welcome to a day in the life of a slice of bread. Now I thought that this was going to be a nice little adventure of a slice of bread, but this music is telling me a completely different story. This is making, this is hyping this up a lot. This is fucking banging, this is going to be a techno slice of bread. I also like how the menu is different layers of bread coming up to a sandwich, and I'm just going to disclaimer right here, this is making me hungry. So I'm I want to eat after this, but start. I have absolutely you no idea what this is. Feel pain in your side, like someone just stabbed you with a knife. Uh, okay, what what a way to it fucking open out this up. That apparently someone did just stab you with a knife. Did they? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? It seems that you're a piece of bread. Ah, oh, that makes a lot more sense now. I'm dumb. You're completely fine with this, but just then a thought hit you. A piece of bread that thinks. Let's go. Oh, this is gonna make me regret eating bread. Well, actually, I haven't eaten bread in fucking months. <laughs> okay, I would agree with that. Bread is not supposed to be sentient. A crummy situation. Why is the music way louder than everything else? What will you do? Um, flippy flop my way to back to my mother. Ah. Okay, so it's a choose your own adventure kind of thing. Accept my fate. Realize that I was taken away from my entire family. My loaf! Ah, oh, this should be called a day in the loaf of a slice of bread. Think about it. I'm like that meme guy. It's like, haha, <laughs> can't, can't, you can't destroy the bread if you already have eaten the bread. That's a bad example, but you know what I mean. Hop away! Off you the freedom I go! Independence for bread must and will be established. And it all starts with you. This is it. This is how we establish the bread hierarchy. Starting off your grand escape with a poorly executed backflip, you make it onto level ground. That does not look like a poorly executed backflip. That looks like a fucking amazing backflip. Uh, go left, go right. Oh, God. Left or right, left or right. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, eedy, meeny, lefty, righty. I went right. Did I just get eaten? Am I dead? Oh, it appears God. That the odds are not in your favor as your torturer recaptures you in their gigantic grip and sticks you back in the toaster where you belong. Oh, God. I want toast right now. Toast is like the best. Nice job there, Texas. My name's Texas. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is cool. Am I d I'm dead. Okay, so <laughs> let's start it again. Turns out it's your yes, I'm a slice of bread. British. Um, off to freedom I go. You starting and now we're going left, not right. Right is death. Left is left is death. Would have sounded better, but left is freedom. Apparently, carefully choosing to hop to the left in hopes of escaping, you find yourself facing an open door. Hmm. Should I go through it? You feel small compared to the large opening in the wall that leads to your freedom. But at the same time, excited by all the new opportunities you now have. I don't know, man. If I step outside the store, I'm going to get very dirty. With a few more hops, Away I you go. make it to the outside world. Where will you go first? Um, sex shop. Screw this, man. I'm going back inside. What about this swanky looking hot dog cart? Yes. Oh, but don't, don't mistake me for hot dog bun and may put a dog in me. You make your way to the swankiest hot dog cart in town. Operated by an even equally swanky looking person really? who looks to be bent over and asleep, <laughs> their chin resting on the palm of their hand, snoozing face inches close to falling on the scalding hot surface of oh, the Oh god, that would be fucking painful. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Wake up! You're about to burn alive! Um, excuse me, sir. Wake up! You're about to- Yeah, you get it. This person looks to be androgynous, so I just scream to warn them. I don't say anything. Let them burn. <laughs> Uh, let's go with this one. Don't want to make any assumptions, but let's warn them that they're going to burn to death. Ah! Okay, that's that's about what I'd expect. Yes, very good. They automatically stand up straight, their eyes wide, and a confused expression to match. Wait, was that you yelling or me yelling? As a slice of bread, if that was me yelling, that's very impressive. If it's you yelling, not as impressive, but pretty good. They quickly realize the situation they were in, and that you just saved them from a hell of a medical bill. You're welcome. A hell of a medical bill. Oh, probably death as well. I know what it's like, man. 
I know what it's like to be put against a hot surface and to be toasty brown afterwards, so I had to warn you. They pick you up and hold you up in the air. Certainly not unlike how that monkey picks up Simba in the line. I was just about to say, <laughs> They praise you endlessly for saving their face, mentioning somewhere in the word vomit that their name is Alex. Somewhere in their word vomit that their name is Alex. Okay. So what now? Um, let's become best friends and get married. Alex and I have a wonderful relationship, and I work with them at the hot dog cart. I have abruptly after this experience. I I leave abruptly after this experience. I don't want to talk to this person anymore. Alex and I became great friends and attend bowling tournaments every weekend as a team. And you know what? Other friends like other friend things like that. I want to become part of the bowling team. I don't want to work at a hot dog cart. I want me and Alex to have the best life possible on our bowling team. Maybe win some tournaments. Maybe fucking get a trophy or two. Unfortunately, years later, one of these bowling trips ended in you messing up a throw. It's shooting up into the air and landing on you, crushing you to death instantly. Well, of course! Fuck me for trying to live out my dreams, right? All I wanted to do was be the world-class first slice of bread bowler, don't even have a hand, and still bowling with the best. Winning tournaments, getting strikes, and 7-10 splits everywhere, but no. I died doing what I loved. Getting my face sat on. But at least you died doing something you love with one of your best friends, right? Yeah, there's worse ways to go. Like getting your face sat on. Okay, but we're doing the same thing again. Actually, let's accept my fate. Does that just bring me straight to death? That's depressing that you just throw your life away like that. Well, the person needs some sustenance. And I am a part of this circle of life. See, bringing it back to Lion King again. Nonetheless, the person that has taken you away from your loving loaf picks you up and carries you to the toaster. I'm gonna die, aren't I? But the lad, it isn't yet plugged in. Aha! There's hope! You realise this diversion might just give you enough time to run away and save yourself. Let's go, Mr. Loaf. How do you feel about this? Happy. Terrible. I wish this person would hurry up and burn me alive already. I'm feeling some type of way. Oh, man, I sure am hecking a certain type of something. You're feeling a bit regretful in being the only self-aware slice of bread on the planet and just throwing it all away. Yeah! I have aspirations. I want to become the first bread doctor. And when people come in and be like, the slice will see you now. Dr. Bread! Dr. Slice! Lucky for you, the person that picked you up has now set you down and is fumbling around with the toaster plug, giving you another chance. Okay, so not that one. Would you like to try? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, sure. Fine. Would you like to make something of your life? Would you like to make a difference? Ah, uh, sure. Why not? Fuck it. Ah. Uh, Okay, I'll have a way to feed him I go. Same, same as last Stop. time. We go left. You meet Alex. You um, this one. Ah! They so what now? Let's stay with Alex. Have a wonderful relationship and work with them at the hot dog cart. You get to know Alex better and eventually ask them to go on a date. To which they reply, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. You two hit it off famously and you end up working with them at the hot dog cart. Ending this small adventure on a good note. Finally! Something ends well! Did we have bread babies? And then when when it's like time for them to go to sleep, I say, Come on, kids, off to bread. I'd like that. Are you guys ready for bread? Ready ready for bed, but it's bread put. Give yourself a pat on the back, my friend. You've earned it. Thanks, man. Thanks. Oh! Alex and bread. Together forever. Yay! Story sleepy. Backgrounds coding and GY Sasquatchy. What? Engine rent P69944467. Thanks for playing. There must be more to it than that! But just Okay, let's go back to our loaf. You just can't bear it. If you actually had a face, you'd be sadly whispering Mama to your loaf and crying yourself a river. Cry me a river. Grow a face. Oh! Wow. You actually did I'm it! I'm fucking adorable! The world's cutest slice of bread there ever was! You successfully whisper a soft mama, mama. into your loaf's imaginary ear <laughs> and begin to weep. Kinda looks like an ear. Mama! You finish weeping soon after. Good. Cry some more. Ah! I think I'm all cried out for the day. Eat myself out of existence because I'm so sad about my loaf. Okay, I'll go back to crying. You were about to start bawling your eyes out when a thought occurs. Why am I a slice of bread thinking? 
you could just stop being a big baby and suck it up. Yeah! Are you going to go through with this idea? Yeah! No, how could I? You know what? I think I will. Oh, the power to you. Fuck yeah! You end up becoming a respectable citizen in society, <laughs> moving in with a suitable human partner, getting a rescue pit bull named Rousey, Aww. and landing a that, job that... at a plumbing company. Sweet! I don't think plumbing and a slice of bread would go well together. I get very soggy and very wet and so... Maybe that's why. If there's a spill, Captain Spongy Bread will come in to save the day. Ah! Sure, those stupid skater kids always call you Mario. But are they eating out at fancy restaurants once every week? Why are they calling me Mario? Am I missing something between the connection between the slice of bread and Mario? Possibly, but that means absolutely nothing to you as you went from a piece of bread to a wonderful spouse and a successful plumber! Yes! Why are we shouting? Actually, it said every person who's ever watched one of my videos. This is nice! Finally! A life worth living! A loaf worth living, uh, uh, if you will. And that's all that matters. Aww. The, uh, another happy ending. I like that my happy endings end up with me, uh, living with another human. Not, not finding a nice slice of bread to settle down with, no. Finding a human to settle down with and having a life with them. Hey, at least we got a pit bull out of it. A rescue pit bull at that. It's a nice dog. Scary dog, though. I'm not a fan of pit bulls. Hey, well, that's it for this video on a slice in the life of, of bread. A, a life in the slice of bread. A day in the life of a slice of bread. That's what it was called. A, a cool little game. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it, and you're just clicking options and everything. But I like the little art style to it, and I like games like this that have a bit of humor to them. Almost like a Stanley Parable esque type of thing, but that was that was a lot more interactive. But this was fun. I was just bouncing around on the internet looking for games to play and this popped up. So I thought it'd be cool to do this. I liked it a lot. I, li I like the little slice of bread. He's so cute. I'm really hungry right now though. All this talk of bread and lettuce and mayonnaise and tomatoes and bacon. Oh, I'm going to go make myself a big old sandwich of pizza. I wish. <laughs> anyway, th th this game is free, by the way, so I leave a link in the description so you guys can go off and get some of the other options that I might have missed in this. I don't want to do them all. I want to give something back to the developer and something for you guys to be able to do, to be able to play the game for yourselves as well. So, go off. Have fun. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that life button in the face! I like a bread! And I love it all around. Whoosh, whoosh. Thank you guys, and I will see you on your dudes! Coming home, baby. I'm coming uh, home. I'm coming home. Oh no. <laughs> That's the old baby blue. Keep blinking until they're confused. And then you power hit them with the love slap. Don't slap people. <laughs> sandwich time, sandwich time. Time to make sandwich.